everyone. Welcome back to the Gold Technical Analysis session with Mukmik again. So, yesterday we had such an important situation which was the Powell speech and what makes the market moves is that the US dollar is really really getting stronger and the gold that we are trading falls really really significantly. So, Today, we will need to update our plan because the price has changed quite a lot. So let's get started. So here's the daily time frame. As you can see, yesterday candlestick was closed as a very red bearish one. And this one is really, really big. Okay, so how far did it came down? That was around 3,800 points, okay? So that's how the impact on the reports and the speeches impact on our trading situation. So you need to be careful on that, okay? So this is the lesson learned for you guys and for me too. Actually, I don't trade while we are having such an important situation going on. So my portfolio is still safe and today we are going to make a new plan together. All right. So for the daily time frame, we are still in the downtrend. Okay. Even though this resistance was broken, but it did not persist it over this resistance. So I would say the selling power is still going strong here in the daily time frame. And this is the demand zone that we are at at the moment. And this demand zone is very, very weak. All right, because it has been tested once and this time it's the second time. So very weak at the moment. So if this demand zone could not hold the price up, I would say that it will be the next one, which is this one. Okay. But that's a long way to go for the daily time frame. It's just a big picture for you guys. And the same thing happened is that we are still having this supply zone. So let's drop down to the four hours time frame. In the four hours time frame, it was actually turned into an uptrend. But at this moment, it actually, you know, break this trend line. So we would have this QM cell going on. Okay. So for the QM cell in the four hour time frame, I would say that it's going to be between 1839. So 1840, if you want to make it round number, okay, to 1847. Beautiful, beautiful. Why is it beautiful? Because we are having this supply zone here as well so that's done for the selling plan do we have a buying plan i would say for buying is really really um dangerous why is that because if you can see the price momentum is very low at the moment is actually around 28 okay so very very little buying power here so be careful on buying but we are having our supports here at around 1804 or 5 to 1800 okay it's a uh, support but be careful as i said the buying power is not here yet and the selling power is going strong at the moment so be careful on buying let me see the one hour time frame. Can we do anything about it? Can you see? Same thing happening here. Very low RSI, which is dangerous for buying. Okay, so I would say I will not give you a buying plan here. Although we are having our QM buy from the four hours time frame yesterday. Okay, which is still in this plan because our stop loss need to be below this support. So I would say if the price wants to go up and change the trend in the daily time frame, it will need to shoot back up and not making any lower price than this support. Okay, so that's for today, very dangerous for buying because of the price momentum, but 
it is still in the plan that we had yesterday which is the QM buy plans okay if you have an order from buying be careful this QM sale from the four hours time frame as well all right so that's the rough plan for today i hope you learned something new from this video if you do please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and also please click the subscribe button for us and follow me on the new facebook fan page which is the bravo Trey academy global i will post a new english content today which is really really important for your trades all right so let's check those out as well and i'll see you tomorrow bye